Well, I just had an interesting dream this morning. And I believe I was just shown the deep state's next move. Excuse me. Next false flag. Next black ops maneuver. And I thought, do I even say anything? Do I just... Who do I contact? Well, I contact the FBI. Those F Fers are part of it. Hey, I I had a dream about you guys uh, doing this, so so don't do it. You know, okay. So I have this dream. I go to bed. I'm like, you know, Spirit, can I? Can you share something with me that I can really share with people that they need? We we need to know. You know, near future news things. You know, like the remote viewers do. Something, uh, you know, pretty potent. I remember Julianne telling me I'm going to have these blockbuster dreams occasionally that are like, whoa, oh my God, you know, Joe, how the hell did you get that? You know, then it happens. Um, so I'm like thinking about this last night, talking to Spirit, like, you know, could I, could I get a blockbuster? You know, can a brother get a blockbuster dream? And I'm shown a prison break or jail break where somebody is going into free, breaking free prisoners out of a jail or prison. You know, not like they're allowed to come out, they're being broken out. Forced entry, destruction of a, well I didn't see destruction, but let's just say, if you're breaking into somewhere to let people out that are prisoners, you gotta break in, you gotta break something. You know, are they breaking a door? Are they breaking a wall down? I, I don't know, but I saw a prison break, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I saw six people being broken free. Five or six, but I'm thinking it was six. And then I wake up, and I'm like, whoa. It's like five o'clock in the morning. Couldn't go back to sleep since then. As Wu would do would say, spirit was all over my ass. I'm wide awake, got plenty of energy. It's 5 a.m. I should be going back to bed. Nope. And instantly comes to mind January 6th. What happened on January the 6th? It was an insurrection of Trump supporters. Oh, wait a minute, FBI, that's an informant. That's an undercover FBI. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, there's Judge Sullivan's son. Number 250 on the FBI wanted list of the Capitol. Judge Emmett Sullivan, the one that went after General Flynn. His eldest son is right. That's his that's Tim. John here to help posted that on Twitter instantly removed off Twitter forever that guy has been able to stay on Twitter posting all kinds of incredible stuff for like the last two years easily no problem he's posting it not getting kicked off I don't even think he got a suspension he posted that picture and goes that's look there's that's Judge Emmett Sullivan's son oh gone see ya gone 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 so Instantly, as I wake up, January 6th comes to my mind. What the hell's prison break in January 6th have to... Oh my God. I know, right? That's what, that's where my brain goes next. What are they doing on September the 18th? <gasps> There's a rally. Proud Boys and this group and that group. Okay. Are going to Washington, D.C. to protest. And I just read uh, two days ago, they're going to be setting up the uh, barricades and fencing around the main infrastructure, you know, the main buildings like last time of uh, Washington, D.C., in anticipation of the, you know, potentially a rowdy crowd or whatever, right? And everybody that I follow and know is telling everybody else, do not go to this. Do not go to this so-called rally. You're being set up. Don't effing go. It's not Trump supporters, even though they're going to look like they are, just like they did on January 6th. They look like Trump supporters, but they weren't. Even the one guy who got, he was in uh, with the court, young young guy. Well, Your Honor, I'm actually a Democrat, and I was dressed up like a Trump supporter. You know, for that reason, can I get a lighter sentence? He literally said it. you got to be kidding me. So, September 18th, it's about a week away, right? Eight days away. All the people I know and follow and everybody they know and follow are saying, do not go to this event, period. Don't go. Cliff I has been warning you. 
don't go to any of these things. Not just this one. Don't go to any of them. Because you're going to play a stupid game and win a stupid prize. Like some of those people who are who were charged with, not insurrection, but interrupting a government meeting. You know, oh God, that's a huge crime. Oh Jesus Christ. That's, there's that, charged with that, and insurrectionist. Which one? Uh, the news media keeps using the word insurrection. FBI just said there's no signs of an insurrection, but they disrupted a, you know, government meeting, whatever the f official term is. So, we, we know there were agent provocateurs there. We know there were undercover agents. We know, like the Governor Whitmere kidnapping case nonsense, it was 90% FBI who plotted everything, did everything. Yep, these guys got in the car with us, so they're all guilty. And that's what the FBI did. And, and they're withholding exculpatory evidence. Again, uh, fucking again, they're doing it on those people. Speaking of Whitmere. So, I get this dream. I instantly wake up January 6th, January 6th. Well, I did see six people. Okay. <gasps> what about the thing on the 18th of September? What exactly are they protesting? I'm, I'm looking up. What, what exactly is it? <gasps> They're protesting the January 6 people who got put in jail, including those who are still in jail and haven't been released and are in horrible conditions, allegedly, being put in solitary confinement, allegedly. Who are these people? How many of them are in there? Because most of the people are not in jail. They've been released, plea deal, nothing, whatever, do community service, you know, nonsensical stuff. But there's a few who are still in jail and in DC jail at least from what I've looked online and found so I'm like oh they're gonna stage not stage they're gonna show you on CNN news of course a prison break attempt or officially working getting in the mouth they've uh, they've actually got in and prison broke people out one or the other. They've either attempted, they're going to attempt to do this, according to my dream. They're going to attempt to do a prison break, or they'll be successful at it. It doesn't matter, one or the other, it's the same thing. It's still illegal, right? They're going to show you all the TV. Look, look at these Trump supporters. They've gone next level. First they did an insurrection, now they're doing a prison break. Oh my God, Biden, declare martial law. Biden, do something, you know. Okay. Be prepared. Do not go there. Do not get involved in this shit. You don't want to get caught up and, and be there. And all of a sudden, oh, well, you were here, so you're guilty by association, which is what they did to a bunch of those January 6 people. There are people who didn't even step foot inside the building who were, who were being charged. Okay? So, how about I just read you something from CNN posted yesterday uh, and the day before, no, the 7th and 8th of September. Let's go with the seventh first. Do you recognize? I'm not even gonna post it because yeah, seeing it, oh, it's copyright information. But I'll just, I'll just tell you, because you know they may want to shut this video down in a hurry. But you need to get this out to everybody you know, and retweet and whatever, whoever, because I don't know anybody who's telling you what I just told you. Now I realize I've got this in a dream. So you do have to take it with a grain of salt. But you know how it goes sometimes. And if we can get something out in advance of it happening, they won't do it. Because they realize too many, all right, it's spreading now. Too many people know what we're up to. And they won't do it. But this is a big deal. And I think it has to do with some other things coming down the line. They've got to pull this one off. So all I can say is put this video out here and warn people of a possibility that the deep state is staging another event, will possibly stage another event in DC on the 18th of September in a week from now it's not Trump supporters uh, nope and, 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 and prison break might be the theme okay ex-FBI official says law enforcement needs to take upcoming right, re right wing rally in DC very seriously and guess who they got on first and foremost you'll never guess guest you'll never guess the guest 
Piece of shit. Fucktard. Criminal. Treasonous against our President Trump. Andrew McCabe. Remember that guy? That's their ex-FBI official who's telling us through the interview law enforcement needs to take the upcoming right-wing rally in D.C. very seriously. Former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe. Remember that guy. Deep State Extraordinaire Anti-Trump busted still not in jail said Monday evening that law enforcement needs to take the upcoming right wing rally in support of jailed in support of jailed January 6th rioters very seriously that's their quote word for word jailed January 6th rioters very seriously as concerns mount about more potential violence on Capitol Hill quote I this is and this is old Andy Andy I think they should take it very seriously in fact they should take it more seriously then they took the same sort of intelligence that they likely saw on January 5th, McCabe, a CNN contributor, told CNN's Poppy Harlow on Aaron Burnett out front. Law enforcement members in Washington are steeling themselves against possible unrest at the Justice for J6 rally planned for September 18th, which aims to support the insurrectionists charged in the riot. And again, the event organized by a former Trump campaign staffer, and by the way, did the FBI have, did we know, did did they put confidential informants inside Trump campaign, his campaign? Yes, they did. We know that now as fact. They did. Is it possible that this former Trump campaign staffer who's putting the rally together is one of these guys? I don't know, but I just want to throw that out there. And they promote, uh, so the event organized by a former Trump campaign staffer has prompted security concerns on Capitol Hill. And some precautionary measures will be in place. However, it's unclear how many protesters plan to attend. The rally is also taking place on a Saturday, when the House will be on recess. So far fewer lawmakers or staff will be around. A law enforcement source previously told CNN that the Metropolitan Police Department will be fully activated, which includes canceling days off for sworn officers and putting civil disturbance units on standby. The source said the department will monitor open source information like online chatter and travel bookings to gauge the potential cr crowds. Yep. Homeland Security Intelligence Chief John Cohen told CNN last month that online extremist rhetoric is strikingly simil uh, similar to the buildup to the January 6th attack, with increasing calls for violence linked to conspiracy theories and false narratives. Hmm. In August, a man critical of Democrats was arrested after an hours-long standoff near the Capitol, during which he claimed he had an explosive device. Remember that guy? Yeah. Looks identical to the 2013 FBI agent in SWAT gear in the back of a pickup truck responding to the lady who drove through the gate of the White House and had a shooter. There's pictures of them. Look at the two. I did a video. I, I talked about it. Huh. Strange. But anyways, you know. Uh, so what about this Capitol thing? Capitol Police thing? September 8th, posted the next day by CNN. Uh, Capitol Police memo warns of potential for violence during September 18th rally. Law enforcement officials are bracing for potential clashes and unrest during an upcoming right-wing rally in Washington, D.C. as violent rhetoric surrounding the September 18th event has increased online and counter-protests are being planned for the same day, according to an internal Capitol Police memo which has been reviewed by CNN. The latest intelligence report on the Justice for J6 rally, which aims to support insurrectionists charged in the Capitol riots, notes that online chatter in support of the event started increasing after the officer who fatally shot rioter Ashley Babbitt went public with his identity in a recent interview with NBC's Lester Holt. 
There's been a uh, noticeable uptick in violent rhetoric around the event and heated discussion centered on Babbitt's shooting on social media and discussion boards, according to the memo. The document warns that many individuals may also see September 18th as a Justice for Ashley Babbitt rally, which could be cause for concern, and it's not unreasonable to plan for violent altercations. There have been additional discussions of violence associated with the event, with one online chat suggesting violence against Jewish centers and liberal churches, while law enforcement is distracted that day. What could they be distracted with? A, a prison break? A jail break? That would take all units, wouldn't it? All units come over here, and then all of a sudden, some churches are burnt. Some other buildings are burnt. Okay. Trump supporters will be blamed for this. Are you starting to see the big picture here? And finally, just watched a video on Twitter from a young younger guy. He says his, his father, I think it was his father, is in the uh, Air Force or, or military at some level. And he was just told by this individual that these pilots and stuff, they're telling, telling them like right away, like tomorrow you need to go get your shot. You have to take the shot. And they're like, F off. We're not doing it. We're resigning immediately. See you. We'll take a court martial or whatever. It doesn't matter. We're not doing it. So he goes, this. I think he said it was 18 or something pilots, 16 or 18 pilots. I forget the number. F-22 pilots. He goes, um, you can forget about Taiwan and, and possibly ever needing our help. If we're having our pilots by the droves, he goes, and this is in one particular air base. And he goes, and the other one I'm going to tell you about, my sister, I think it was his sister or sister-in-law, is a fuel uh, refueling person on a C-130. And they're saying the same thing. We're, nope, we're not taking. We're not going to take the shot. We're going to. We're going to just quit, and whatever consequences come, come because we're not going to do it. We're just going to go away. So he goes. That's two individuals at the same airbase. He goes. That's one single airbase. How many do we have in the country? How many different military bases do we have in the country? How many people in different branches of military, our military, are saying the same thing and are going to do the same thing and say no? Which leaves us with what kind of military? to either defend ourselves or help an ally. He's making the case. And I agree strongly, as we and Wudud have warned you. And Wudud has said the blue helmets will be coming. The UN. And they might speak, I don't know, a little more Chinese than the rest of them. So imagine some event happens. Our military has been torn apart. We don't even have them active duty. They don't even, they're not even employees anymore of the military, if you will. They're gone, being court-martialed or whatever else. We have a, a tiny, tiny military presence left anywhere. Because remember what Penny Kelly also saw? She said something about them getting the jab. And that's why they're not going to be around. However, what if some people get the jab and they are around, but they're sick? Others don't take the jab. You're fired can't work here who do we ask for help we would immediately call in the UN so we've been warning about this it's we would have told you about the domino he saw getting flicked for the first time that is a cause of chain events that he's basically saying it's not gonna be stopped and as these dominoes fall like in the when you're looking at the TV show where they have you know 15,000 dominoes and it does these cool things and it doesn't trigger stuff you know wow look at that he goes that's what it is they hit a domino but as these dominoes hit they trigger certain events some dominoes are really big event wise others are not but it's just they're going now they're in motion and like dominoes you can't stop them once they're in motion you sit back and you watch them go because the next one's gonna hit the next one's gonna hit the next one and what do you think is going to happen with our debt in October? That Janet Yellen is warning Congress in October, we're bankrupt. You better do something. You better increase the debt. Again, I've said for watching this year, they'll just let it, they'll just up it. They'll just keep upping it. It's just money. They just print money out of nothing. It's no big deal. They'll just keep doing it. Two trillion here, one and a half trillion there. Doesn't matter. And then I said, you know, I think this time around is the time they don't do it. All by design. 
So, we have some shit facing us, people. The dominoes have been flicked off and have started running, as Wu Dude said correctly. He's warned about the blue helmets. Spirit came recently to warn him again. Remember I told you two years ago about the blue helmets? <gasps> oh, that's right. He told Julianne. She's like, oh, I forgot. Yeah, you're right. I remember that now. Yep. So, get ready. It's going to get crazy. This is why you have to have all your preps now. Because when you need them, and you see certain events that scare you, oh my God, I got to go get that. I got to go do how many other people are going to be going, oh my God, I got to go to, I got to go do that too. Who are not as awake as you, who are more panicked than you, and you can never, ever, ever, do not ever underestimate some other human being's desperation. Desperation in which you don't even know that they have at a certain level that they have it. In their mind, they could literally be thinking, it's over, we're not going to be, I'm not going to be alive, and I've got to get this food right now, and I'm going to kill this person in front of me to get that food. Not realizing this is an end game scenario playing out. It's a movie script, so to speak. Bad shit's going to happen. We're going to watch it happen. And try to avoid it to get to the other side when things get a lot better. The normies out there don't know this. Won't be expecting this. Will fucking flip out. You don't want to be around the bozo normies in a shit hit the fan situation. And I think we're getting dangerously close to shit hitting the fan. Coming up September the 18th, I think. Now, again, if this can get enough coverage and shares and stuff and retweets and everything else, maybe we don't see any kind of prison break. Maybe, okay, we're, we're going to have to cancel that one out. But again, I as I say that, my gut's like, who are you kidding? These people are desperate. They know it's for all the marbles, as Woo Woo Dude says. They're going to do it no matter who knows and what. They're doing it no matter who. They don't care that anybody knows. They don't care. And speaking of that guy, John here to help, who's got completely banned off of uh, uh, Twitter. I did send myself this. So, very interesting. You will recall I had a dream. A little while back as in weeks and weeks ago now and I saw myself dumping this little water out of electronic device in my hand and a blob of black nastiness comes out lands in the pool at this old apartment complex I used to live at actually and I'm watching the blob thinking it'll just dissipate you know into the water giant pool you know swimming pool and it's keeping itself completely intact structured it's just floating like a blob just a little bit under the ground uh, under the water just a little bit and it's going towards the deep end as i said my friend jennifer i used to work with at my old job she's there laying down watching this thing intensely and i'm just watching her watch it when it gets close to her mouth she opens up to take a drink and i go stop 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 don't touch that it'll kill you it's toxic and then we had some interesting stories come out right after that about one town talking about being poisoned, the, the water's poisoned, and the drinking water, blah, blah, blah. Then we find this stuff called graphene oxide that's being, you know, some of the vaccines have this graphene stuff that were caught. 1.6 million doses in Japan was yanked off the shelf. They got this black stuff in there. And then I see this tweet today referencing John here to help on his Gab account, which he has not been posting much on lately. And she goes, oh, wow, after two weeks of silence, it's good to see John post. And he posts, uh, the voluntary portion of this exercise is over. Vaccination. Remember that from last month that he warned about is what he's saying. Do you remember when I warned you that? That this would happen? So here's what he posted. So the, so the quote is basically Biden. The voluntary portion of this exercise is over, you know. Now we're going to have to force vaccinate. John here to help. August 20th. In regards to public vaccination, quote, the voluntary portion of this exercise is over. That was actually said in regards to vaccinating the public as a whole. What's being discussed is putting the vaccine and subsequent boosters in public drinking water. 
Vaccines administered through drinking water or are nothing new, especially in the livestock and poultry industry. It is now being discussed for the public as a whole for the, you know, good of the nation's health. So he posted that August 20th, three hours ago, well, from when they posted this today, he's reminding you of what he said on his other account. Now, my dream was way before August 20th, FYI, about the black goo. And it's poison, it'll kill you, is, was my dream. So, I just so happened, spirit just so happened to have me in a house, for the first time ever, by the way, where I'm on well water. Although I think that house in Tennessee might have had well water too. I think, but I don't really remember. I don't remember, it never didn't have a water softener. It could have been city water, I don't know. Um, but this house, my first house had septic, but city water. The second house, which was a rental, had just regular city and everything. And then this house, the one I'm in now, has septic and its own water supply, well water. What are the chances that I'm in this house, spirit set me up like this? Pure coincidence. What is the chance that spirit set me up for not having to work, not having to deal with masks, not having to be around people? Probably a coincidence. Um, or spirit really, really wants me around because <laughs> I got some role to play. Maybe my boy, my baby boy's got some roles to play in the future for, for humanity. Okay. That's what I think. Um, but that's just me. So anyways, you might want to share this video with as many people as you can, or at least the message in this video, because, uh, we may be on to a, a hell of a show September 18th. And it may or may not have something to do with a prison or jailbreak. Now that I'm saying it. I don't know anybody else in the world who is getting this kind of information. And I got this shit in my dreams. Now, maybe you already know. No, 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 Joe. There's a psychic lady. Oh, she actually said it. Okay. If that's the case, go to realistnews.net. Contact, boom, Joe. I know somebody who just said this recently or even months ago or whatever. Prison break, uh, January 6th, writer. I'd like to know. It'd be interesting if I'm the only one on the earth that got this. Of course, at the same time, because I'm making this public and I really thought hard this morning, am I even going to talk about this to anybody, even Patreon? And I'm like, yeah, I think I will. Can't hurt. I've already had dreams come true. You've seen a bunch of them in advance. Why not mention it at least? We can stop their plans by spreading information, letting them know we know what you're going to do. They may stop. But at the same time, there might be certain things they have to do that they're like, we don't care if you know. We have to do this too late. We're going on with the show. We don't care anyways. You know, and then it's just over. So we will see. Take care.